Foreign Direct Investment, FDI, and Global Value Chain, GVC, 2016. Professor Jan Bosick. Selected Indicators of FDI on International Production, 2015 and Selected Years. Growth Rates of Global GDP, Gross Fixed Capital Formation GFCF, Trade, Employment and FDI, 2008-2014%. FDI Flows, by Region, 2013-2015, Billions of Dollars and Percent. Foreign Direct Investment, FDI, Stock Inflow by Selected Groupings, Trillions of Dollars. Structure of FDI Income, 2005-2011. FDI Income, 100% Earnings, 89% Interest, 11% Reinvested Earnings, of FDI Component, 33% CapEx and Cash Reserves. Distributed Earnings, 56%. Transnational Corporations, TNCS, Top Prospective Host Economies for 2013-2015. Percentage of respondents selecting economy as a top destination. Trade Theory and Global Value Chain, GVC. Adam Smith, using the example of a pin factory, argued that social division of labor, specialization pays and is a source of wealth of nations. Ricardian, principle states that firms show old focus in what they do best and outsource for the rest. Michael Porter, advocates focus in core competences and reduction of time and money for non-competitive stages and switch to outsourcing. K. Akamatsu, J. Dunning, R. Baldwin, R. Vernon, develop theories of international cooperation based on differences in stages of development and sources of competitive advantage. R. Baldwin, develop the theory of global value chains, GVC. Information and Communications Technology, ICT. Revolution and a Global Value Chains, GVC. Computer Integrated Manufacturing Reduce High Skill Labor Cost. Liberalization and economic reforms in emerging countries created new opportunities for profitable cooperation based on the wage difference between developed and emerging countries. This facilitated cooperation between high tech developed economies with countries abundant in educated labor. Vertical specialization of different stages of value creation due to outsourcing, foreign direct investment, FDI, transfer of technology and know-how to net international. Value added to imported intermediate inputs and cooperation with world distribution nets contributed to export expansion of emerging economies. Traditional international trade, scale economies and vertical integration. In the past, Reduced transportation cost favored large-scale production and development of complex production in developed economies. It also enabled imports of raw materials, fuels from resource-abundant countries. Vertical integration of all stages of production reduces cost and risk. Coordination of complex, large-scale production requires an integration of stages of goods production, technology, people, training, investment, financing, information, logistics. In the past, those services were available in developed economies. Large scale and proximity to vertical value chain helps to lower the costs of coordinating the complexity. The Global Value Chain, GVC, an International Economic Policy. 21st century is a more complex, more interconnected set of cross border flow of information, knowledge, ideas, competence, goods, investment, technology, services, engineers. Managers and Capital and Intellectual Property Rights, IPR. The rapidly growing complexity and interconnectedness shifts world trade governance towards regionalism in supply side and globalization of exports. The Global Value Chain, GVC, an international economic policy. Globalization expands the World Trade Organization, WTO, to activities to nexus of trade investment, services and intellectual property rights, IPR. World Trade Organization, WTO, plus applies to issues that are not covered by World Trade Organization, WTO. These include regional trade agreements, WTOs, free trade agreement, WTOs, economic partnership agreements, EPA, sales and purchase agreement, SPA, or ASINP agreements with provisions of new rules especially related to intellectual property rights, IPR, protection. 
Trade Policy Transformation With globalization classic Ritchie.pr. Liberalization of imports change towards policy of unilateral liberalization for foreign direct investment, FDA, and technology inflows. Globalization have been accompanied by new policy, rejection of protectionism and anti-import policy and undertaking pronexus reforms to attract foreign direct investment, FDA, and more jobs. Many emerging countries unilaterally liberalized tariffs and started pro-market and pro-investor policies. Reforms made them attractive for transnational corporations, TNC, investment and development of export-oriented global value chain, GVC. According to the World Bank in 1988 to 2014 tariffs in Asian developing nations dropped from 47% to 18% and in other regions from around 20% minus 25% to 10% minus 15%. Tariff Cuts of Emerging Countries Global Value Chain Factors. The Information and Communications Technology, ICT, and its Global Value Chain, GVC. Value Chain. Products and Services. Value Chain Actors. Institutional Framework. Types of International Value Chains The first type of Global Value Chain, GVC is based on classic imports of raw materials, energy from resources abundant countries to developed nations for processing and exports of finished products. The second type is based on foreign direct investment, FDA, and transfer of labor-intensive production to developing countries for local and international markets. The third global value chain, GVC, has developed between members of European Union and is based on horizontal specialization own in the same sector. The main benefits stem from large scale and diversification. Types of International Value Chains The fourth type of global value chain, GVC, has developed among European Union between countries at innovation stage of development and countries of central and southern Europe at efficiency stage of development. The fifth type of global value chain, GVC, is characteristic for innovation countries and emerging countries. The global value chain, GVC, based on cooperation between different stages is becoming more complex. Backward and forward linkages in international business. The global value chain, GVC, is a complex international cooperation in value creation. Today, the global value chains, GVC, are mainly created by innovative transnational corporations, TNC. Transnational corporations, TNC, have the potential to develop global value chain, GVC. Backward and forward linkages in international business. The global value chain, GVC, consists of headquarters, subsidiaries and distribution networks. The global value chain, GVC, backward linkages are related to raw materials, components and technological inputs. They also include professional services, engineering, organizational, know-how, legal, financial and intellectual property rights. Backward and forward linkages in international business. The complexity of those inputs favors transnational corporations, TNC. The transnational corporations, TNC, helps to develop and manage production efficiently and reduce risk. The transnational corporations, TNC, offers also forward linkages embracing global distributions nets, marketing, advertisement, logistics and reduced transaction costs and risk. Global Value Chain, GVC, Participation, Contribution by Services, Manufacturing and Primary Sectors. Global Value Chain, GVC, Participation 1995 to 2009. Global Value Chain, GVC Services Participation in Exports Global Value Chain, GVC Employment Supported by Exports Researchers in Research and Development, R&D, Expenditures Research and Development, R&D, Intensity and Manufacturing. Foreign Affiliates. Firms Controlled by the Compiling Country Examples of services along the value chain. Examples of product development. Research and development. Engineering services. Technical testing. Design services. Market research. Telecommunications. Computer services. Examples of manufacturing. 